What is up, Pyros? Today, I have a uh, somewhat different video than usual for you. This is going to be my first uh, unboxing and review. Uh, and obviously, this product is not new. It's been around for years. But uh, after the, the way that they were hitting last year at several demos that I went to, I figured that I would... Uh, Pick them up and check them out. So, <sighs> Black Hat Diablo 12, 60 gram shells. You know that that's a little bit far fetched. Uh, 12 canister shells. That a QR reader. One thing I did notice down here is that uh, the copyright is in uh, 2014. So depending on. Uh, how often they have to renew the copyright these shells I believe are going to be a little bit older than last year's version last year's version again were very very nice unless you were hiding under a rock those shells really came out with the surprise so now for the effects or a little bit on the back of course, Black Hat does this kind of often, uh, loud, eh, we'll find out. Big burst, debatable. Glitters, that's probably accurate. Crackle, probably accurate. Color plus, sure, sure, whatever you say. Black Cat Diablo is legally loud with humongous bricks. So loaded, they're almost illegal. I really doubt that. Really, really doubt that. Uh, obviously, uh, s uh, how to uh, handle your mortars safely. Uh, now, for the effects, finally. Uh, brocade Crown. Gold Willow. Silver Glitter. Red Peony and Green Glitter. Brocade to Sparkling Willow and Green Glittering Star. Sky blue star with bloody red star and white glittering star. A lot of stars. Brocade with crackling pistol. Red wave with crackling star. Sky blue star with gold glittering willow and green glittering star. Sounds pretty nice. Silver chrysanthemum with red, green, lemon, sky blue, and orange umbrella picture looks nice green glittering star with sky blue lemon and purple umbrella green uh, green glittering star with red umbrella and sky blue umbrella all right so what I notice is they really like umbrellas uh, glittering stars uh, and Honestly, you, you kind of get quite a few willows out of uh, this kit for regular consumer shelves. Uh, that, that's one thing I am happy about so far. Uh, let's get inside, see if uh, the effects inside actually match. Fiberglass tubes, that's pretty typical. Alright, one sleeve. Got a nice little spacer there. And two sleeves. Alright, so turn these out for sides. It's gonna be like that, huh? Uh, well, hopefully, uh, you ASMR freaks for the pyro uh, got off on that a little bit. The crackles and the pops. <laughs> But uh, let's go 
and we'll deal with the two later. Might as well break out the other shelves. Also. All right. So, it was a little bit out of order. All right. One red peony and green glitter. I think that was on the list. Yep, it was. So that is one. Uh, number two, gold willow. Uh, I love willows. I've loved willows for a long time. Willows, brocades, chrysanthemums, uh, classic effects. Uh, I hate peonies. Going out of order. Okay. Brocade to sparkling willow and green glitter star. Sounds pretty nice. Pretty decent there. Uh, here, green glittering star with red umbrella and sky blue umbrella. All right. Uh, so the effects seem to be the same. So I probably won't read the rest of them off. Uh, green glitter, lemon purple umbrella. Yeah, they, Black Hat, really seems to like their umbrellas. Another one. Silver chrysanthemum in there, though. So that's always a plus. Let's get these out. Seven is a brocade crown, eight in silver glitter, red wave crackling star, brocade crackling pistol, sky blue star with bloody red star and green glittering star. The, these effects actually sound pretty decent. Sky blue star with gold glittering willow and green glittering star. Alright, so yeah, these effects definitely sound pretty decent, but shells like this just kind of irritate me. I've said it for a long time. Uh, manufacturers tend to try to throw too many effects into canister shells. I don't know if it's because it never really breaks symmetrical, so they could kind of just throw whatever in there and slap a label on it and set, and call it that. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, just, I don't know. I hate too many effects, you know? Well, at least too many colors, like uh, Time Rain Willows and shells like that are very nice, I like those. But a consumer grade. Oh, look at that. All right, so have an issue here with these. Uh, obviously, last year's Diablo shells most likely had the plastic caps. I know a lot of pyros hate the plastic caps. I really don't understand why. I don't see a difference. Shells come out how they come out. But these shells right here, if you can see that. Now, Normally, uh, shells have a little end cap there. This does not. Yeah, I do not like that. I do not like that at all. Uh, that means a lot of these stars, well, when the shell breaks, uh, there's a very high chance that everything is just going to come flying out the top. Now, I had another show from uh, the other 12 pack I had got that had the same thing going. So, uh, I don't think it's just one. I mean, whereas uh, this show here, that has an end cap. You know, it's, it, and it's, uh, it's a bit heavier, more solid. It's going to be a better break. It's not gonna come shooting out the top. Uh, also, let's see, bring this one right there. There is a pretty obvious size discrepancy here. Uh, Diablo shells seem to be a bit thinner. I don't know if this changed uh, since whenever these shells were made. Uh, 
I mean, it's, it's a cool looking can. They look a lot like uh, the Power Shells by Pyro King, but there's definitely a size difference here. Uh, so, hopefully uh, Black Cat's uh, shells from last year were not a one-hit wonder, and they will uh, continue to make shells that were that quality because they were good. They were good. You, f you felt it when it hit. Uh, these shells, I have to be honest, I, I did light one from the other kit, and it sounded like a... Uh, a festival ball on steroids <laughs> it, it, it was so weak it was so weak I've, I've never had a weaker canister even some of those mini canisters uh, sound better than what these sounded like Th this just i was so disappointed so disappointed uh and i normally don't say that you know not not trying to trash them but yeah, they just were not what I was expecting, especially compared to uh, what they had last year. Again, they do really have some nice effects, though. You know, uh, those effects, very solid. The loud, it's bullshit. Big burst, uh, not really. Um, yeah, it, it, it was kind of sad. <laughs> uh, but hopefully, like I said, again... Hopefully they continue making shells like they did last year because those were a great surprise. And uh, coming up soon, I'm actually going to have to do a comparison or a few comparisons between uh, some of these effects and uh, shells like this. Uh, this is a lightsaber shell. Um, 20, 2017 version, I think. Uh, these are pretty decent. Um, definitely better than this. Um, but yeah, be on the lookout for those coming up soon because, I mean, not all pyros like uh, big booms. Some like color, you know, good blues, good greens. Some like crackle, you know. And again, because of some of the effects here, willows... And whatnot, uh, the weakness could be overlooked, but again, these are possibly from as far back as uh, 2014 Chouffon. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, just wanted to uh, try doing a unboxing and review. Hopefully, uh. <laughs> Hopefully it was uh, helpful to some pyros. Uh, there's definitely better shells out there. A lot of better shells out there. Even compared to the shells last year. You know, I could throw some names out there, but most likely if you're watching this vid, you already know them. But uh, yeah, just wanted to throw out some uh, disappointment to Black Cat. <laughs> All right, peace pyros.